Good day. Today what I want to do is I just want to give you a summary of uh, what's really involved in databases. Um, the most important uh, thing that I think about databases whenever I think about it is the word CRUD. Okay, So this is just going to be a quick introduction for those learning INF 2603 um, in 2021, Introduction to Databases. As you know, you're supposed to read this database systems design and implementation and management book. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give a quick introduction to CRUD. Um, so the first thing is, what is CRUD? Okay, um, and CRUD is basically an acronym for create, retrieve, update, and delete. And those are the four important things that databases are. Is first you need to create. Uh, some tables, create a um, database, um, and then the next thing is to retrieve. So how do you retrieve um, and also update and delete? Okay, so here we go. How do we how do we use create? So in my example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take an example of the exam paper. Um, of 2020, October, November 2020, the UNISA one, um, and I'm going to, this table over here, this ISBN book code, uh, so this is the actual database, book ref, and these are columns, okay, and each column has got a data type, and so um, if you have a look, um, there's a data type, a different data type, and so this is the command that I would use to create this table. So I would go and say create table book ref. Okay. Then I've I've creating my first column, which is the ISBN. I'm assigning it a var char and I'm setting its size to 13 because I believe there's about 13 characters in here. Okay. And you can say it's not null or you can leave it null. I've said not null for them. Okay. Um, you've got your book code. Um, I've assumed there's only four characters in it, so that's why I've used varchar4. And I've also said not null. Then I've got my book title column, which is varchar15, not null. And then uh, my um, public code, which is this here, or publisher's code. And then the publisher's name. Okay. And so I've just used varchar and specified it. And as you can see, when I'm creating it, I have to create it inside of these special commas, okay? And then I use the insert into command to add this um, to create the, the records that belong into the table, okay? Um, yeah, so that's, that's my create. Um, retrieve is normally select. So I've showing you two examples here you can either say select all from book ref because the table is still book ref and you're saying you want to select all the columns in book ref or the other option is you can select each you can specify each column that you want to select so i've just gone and put the full select command for this table but if you wanted to, you could choose select, and I only want ISBN and book title and pub publisher's name. So you don't have to select all of them, but this is just the example that I'm showing you. Um, update, yeah. Um, this is the command set here for update. Uh, I'm going to do an example here where I'm going to update this book where they've put here Straniger. I'm going to update it to database systems. And so this is the result of me running this command that's um, at the top over here. And I've said update, the table name, um, set, and then I've said the, the column name. And I've said it must set the record of to database system. And I've said where the book code, I'm using the book code. But in theory, because the ISBN is a primary number, you would normally say where ISBN equals and then whatever the ISBN number is. But I looked it through the book code and I saw they also look all unique. So I was able to use the where and just use a shorter code. Okay, so that's for the update. Then for the delete, um, I chose to delete that record. 
and this time I, I've chosen it via the ISBN number and then the result is obviously that I only have three records left versus the four that were originally assigned. So that was what I wanted to cover quickly. So I'm going to boot up my computer and if you've watched one of my previous videos um, then you'll find that I use MySQL and I've shown you how to install XAMPP and how to install MySQL and so I've got uh, the XAMPP control um, on the desktop and so this control panel is how I start and stop both Apache and MySQL okay so I need to start both of them so I just click on start for Apache first and once I've seen it change to green I know it's ready and then I click on start for MySQL and then uh, once it's green and it's given me a port number I know it's ready I can click on admin and it'll take me to the admin page now I'm going to cheat a little bit because I've got those codes written down in a text document and I've saved the text document onto a CD and I've quickly loaded it onto um, onto this computer so that I can just copy and paste the code um, but as you can see when I click on um, uh, my admin it's going to take me to the PHP side and so I'm just going to open this um, notepad behind the scenes quickly and as I say I've got this already written down so I'm not going to retype it out I'm just going to show you how I use MySQL to create this table quickly. Okay, so in my previous video, I also showed you that I created a um, database called INF. So if I click on databases over here, you'll see that I've got a database called INF2603. Okay. So I can either click it over here or I can click it over here. So I'm going to just click it over here. Um, my my um, table, my database is totally empty. So I've got nothing whatsoever. So normally you could um, type the name in over here and click on create. But I'm going to use SQL. Okay. So I'm going to click on SQL over here. I'm going to paste my um, commands that I've got from here. I'm going to go copy and I'm going to paste. The paste might not work, so I'll just use Control V. There we go. And so, there, as I was saying in the previous um, thing, I'm trying to just zoom in for you guys. Um, it's create, and then I've got my table, and then I'm giving my table name. Okay. And now, these, these special um, commas. Are above the tab key um, next to number one so um, and on my keyboard it's just below the escape key so this is not a normal apostrophe like you've got uh, next to your enter button but it's a special one that's uh, used on the um, yeah above the tab key on the left hand side okay um, so this gives me the table name Okay, and then as I said, I'm going to create one, two, three, four, five columns, and then I've got uh, varchar. And the reason I used varchar is because it contains numbers, hyphens, and uh, it could contain text if it needed to. So varchar covers numbers, uh, the dashes, and um, numbers uh, and uh, text characters. Whereas um, text would be very strict to just text um, things. It doesn't like special characters. Okay, And the same with int. Int doesn't like uh, text characters. It will only take numbers. Um, yeah. Okay. So what will happen is um, now I can just click on go. I'm just going to resort it back to its 100. Click on go. And you should get see a message that comes up. There we go. MySQL returned an empty result set. Okay. But it's gone and successfully created this table. So now I have this table. If I click this plus sign and I click the columns, you'll see I've got all my columns. Okay. And um, 
yeah I can now add information into those so if I go to the actual table book ref you'll see here I've got my columns but there's no records there okay and so this is why I've also I've got this insert into statement here and I'm going to go back to my SQL and hopefully you'll notice now because I've finally got a table um, it's actually giving me a whole lot of commands here and these are the exact commands that I was telling you crud which is the select update and delete the create we've already done creating okay so um, now it's saying select star from things but I don't want to select I need to insert so I click on insert and you can see there it comes up with a template and so I could easily just replace each value that I want but because I've already done the script I'm going to just um, paste it in here and as I was saying um, so you use the insert into and then you've got to specify the table okay then you open the brackets and you specify each column that you want to insert information into and if any of your columns are saying not null then those columns have to have information entered into if they null you don't have to enter any information but you do have to leave um, like uh, blank spaces so that you can uh, you would use you would use this um, you would use this if you were going to um, insert a blank okay and so that's what you would um, do if you were going to put a blank in. But we're not putting in any blanks because all our columns say not null. Okay. Um, so I'm just copying and pasting that back in here. And so as you can see, they're also in those special apostrophe things. So you do need those apostrophes. And the same over here, because most of them are varchar, um, you need them in the apostrophes. They're very important and what you'll notice is I've got commas here until the very last line. The very last line has a semicolon. That's almost like saying go um, in SQL. So um, I normally just put it in as a habit and when you're writing exams or whatever you should definitely put it in. Okay. So this is going to insert four values, four rows for me. Um, and as you can see, I've only had to write the statement of the columns once, and I've got uh, four values that can go in. So I click on Go, and now I've got all of the values. You can see I've got a big tick that says four rows inserted. So now if I go back and I have a look over here, um, you'll see there's my four entries as per the, the database. And um, I got this table from the INF 2603 October November 2020 exam. So you can see these these four records exist now over here. I think I only just corrected them with the stranger part because yeah, it just looked weird when I, I was typing it out. All right, so that was the um, the first statement of creating and inserting. Okay. Um, the next one we want to do is we want to go and try the two select statements. So as you can see, if I come over here and I choose the select star, it automatically comes up here. And it's saying select star from table book ref. And it wants to know where and it's chosen one. I think one would return um, just one row. Um, so, ah, okay, it actually returns all, which is strange. Okay. So I don't know what the, the where one is, but what I normally do is I just take this out and I put my semicolon on and I say go. And yeah, there you can see it's got all of the information. Okay. And why I, I like MySQL and the PHP is because you can easily go back. Um, you can choose show query box. Um, and then what you can do is you can say select. And you can see there it's got all the different columns automatically from me for me so i don't even need to um, type it out and i can go to go over here and you'll see there it is there okay 
And also, it's the same like I was saying to you earlier, is if you just wanted to select certain, um, certain columns, you could just uh, take all of these out, and you could say, okay, I want an ISBN, okay? Then you put your, don't forget your comma. Um, I only want the book title, okay? Um, and I want the publisher's name. All right, so now we're only choosing three um, of the six or five that we've got, okay? We click on go, and you'll see, there we go. We've got our record. And so this is quite helpful because you don't need to write it out, but what you do need to do is, especially for exam purposes, if you're writing an exam, you've got to know, you've got to remember that you have to have these in inverted commas or in square brackets, okay? because of that so that's my my select done okay um the next uh thing that i wanted to teach you was to update so if i went and i said update you'll see there it's got update and what was my command my command said um update i'm just going to it quickly update book ref okay which is the table and I said set the book title. So I only wanted uh, to update the book title. I didn't want to update anything else. Okay. So I make sure just book title is there. I can take out all of this others um, except the where part. And then what I did was I said I wanted the book title to be database name so that it would change it to database name. So we just go here and we say database, um, oh, it was database system, okay. And then um, on the where clause, I said um, I used the column book code. So I said where book code, and I set it to equals 1359, okay. Um, and then I put my semicolon, all right. And then, so I chose go over here, and you'll tell, you see there, one row is affected, okay? So if I came back to my book ref, and I looked, now this, this one has got database systems instead of that time stranger, okay? All right, so that's the update part done. The next part I wanted to show you was how to delete it. So I could choose delete over here. And it says delete from book ref. And the one that I wanted to delete was the, where the ISBN was. So instead of where zero, I choose where ISBN. And I say equals. And the ISBN number was the double zero number. I don't know if my copy and paste is going to work. So I'm going to actually just cheat a bit. I'm going to say select all. I'm going to say go. And why I say I'm going to cheat a bit is I'm just going to actually copy, copy that down from here. I want to copy this uh, ISBN number. Okay, and then I can go back, say show query, and I can say delete, delete from where, and we said um, ISBN equals, and we want that. And we say go. Yes. If you see it prompts you. It wants to ask you. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. I definitely want to delete it. Now if I go back. You'll see I've only got three records. Instead of four records. And so that was what I wanted to cover in this um, video. Um, yeah. Good luck with your INF 2603. Um, I'm sure you're going to do well. Just keep practicing like this. It really does help. I know it doesn't feel like it. But you practice this. You practice writing it. Um, and the exam will be a breeze. Alright. Thank you for watching. And like I say, all the best for INF 2603. Thank you and goodbye.